Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how we can take a picture like this, which has two people side by side and then make them hug using AI. This is a very popular trend nowadays, making people hug or kiss when they are in a photograph and turning them into like a video like this. But the problem with this is that most of the apps out there which promise you that you can do this for free, they just don't allow you to actually do it for free because the moment the video is done, they will not let you even see the video till the time you have subscribed and paid. So it was very tough to find an app which can actually do this for free till the time I found out this app which is called clipfly.ai. This allows you to do this once, okay, as you're gonna see because the moment you create your account, like you can see, and you sign into your account, you're gonna get 10 credits. And once you use this tool, it will consume 10 credits. I will also be showing you what are the results of the same thing when we use a paid tool. And you'll be surprised to find that the free tool sometimes can actually be better than a paid tool. But I'm still gonna show you that. We'll also be seeing in this tutorial, what are some of the issues that can come up when the final video uh, output is generated and how we can correct those issues using some other AI tools also. So this is gonna be a very comprehensive tutorial. So let's get started. You would have found the link to clipfly.ai in the description as well as the image that we're gonna be using of uh, Messi and Ronaldo in the description. So once you have that, let's get started. So once you're here, you're gonna to go to AI tools and you will just on this fourth column here, you're gonna find AI hug generator. So let's click on that and it's a very simple process. So you can just click on get started. Of course, you would have by this point created your account. So these 10 credits are reflecting because this tool, like you can see, is gonna cost you 10 credits. Now you have two options, okay? One is that you can add the images separately. That can also be done, but I've just found the results to be better when you just use a single image. Okay, and let's upload that image. So first of all, what we'll have to do is that right now here, you see this option that says image layout. Just make sure this is not the double one. So we select the single one and let's upload our image. All right, so the image is right here. We can even just transform this slightly. So let's just make it slightly bigger so that it can uh, fit in well. I don't even mind if they get cropped a bit, but it's okay if they don't fit exactly on the canvas because when the video is finally generated, it sometimes just uh, changes the composition anyway, okay? Now, if you are planning to do this with, let's say, two separate, two other individuals, okay? Like you want to have someone else in these photos. Just one very important thing which I've seen with these apps is that make sure that if you found these as separate images, which is usually going to be the case, you uh, make sure that they are like in this case, of course, because it's a single image, so both of them are side by side, but if you are doing this with separate images also, they should have the same dimensions, like the aspect ratio, okay? So they should be equal in that way, and that's when this works well. That's why I like, it, like to do this with a single image, because then you can easily put them together and make sure that they're right next to each other. So that is very important, regardless of which app you're using, okay? And that's it, there's nothing else to it. Once you've, once you've done this, on the motion description, you can see we have different actions here. We're gonna select hug and let's hit generate. It's gonna take some time, so let's wait for the results here. All right, so that just took around a minute and you can see we've got our video here. So let's just play this right now to see how this looks. And you can see that that is amazing. It kind of zooms into it. And once we're happy with this, we can hit download. Now, what I wanna show you is that what happens when you use another app? For example, this can also be done on Pencil, okay? And what are some of the downsides I experienced when I use Pencil? And what were some of the downsides with this video? We're gonna have a closer look uh, into that. But first of all, let's just use this one because this, you. Uh, so when you sign up for Pencil, you actually get 20 credits for free. And I've often shown Pencil for photo editing a lot in my videos. And there you're able to use this for free because each generation costs one credit, okay? But if I go under tools and I go to this tool that says AI image to video, this is the tool which will allow us to do what we just did with Clipfly. But the problem is that you can see one video is gonna cost you 100 credits. So even though I'm actually on the paid plan and I do get 1,000 credits because I use this tool a lot, right now, even I cannot use this tool. 
because we're going to consume 100 credits. So for this, you will have to go for Pencil's paid plan, which is around 19 to $20 per month, where you get 1,000 credits, and then you'll be able to use this. But at least I want to show you the results because the way it functions is very similar. You just add your image here. Okay, so let's do that. And then in the prompt, you can actually just type in, just like we selected the motion there in Clipfly, you can actually just type in the prompt and I've just seen hug, just a single word works well. And you can gen then hit generate. Right now I won't be able to do it since I don't have enough credits for it, but let me just show you the result. So you can see this is the result that I got from Pencil. And if I just stop the video, okay, you can see that when the video is starting, it's okay, but at some point, they the face kind of changes a lot, which was actually not the case with what we got with Clipfly, even though that was completely free. Because if I pause the frame on the Clipfly video, you can actually see that even throughout the video, the face pretty much remains very, very authentic, okay? The problem with Clipfly is that you only get three seconds, but with Pencil, you... Uh, get five seconds. But if you were to give me a choice between the length or them looking more real, I would. I don't mind a three second video, but they should look like Messi and Ronaldo. So when you use these tools, the problem, there are two problems. One is that you, you've seen sometimes the face can change a bit. So they might not look like the original faces. That's one issue. We're going to solve that using another AI tool. The second problem, which we even experienced with Clipfly is that the resolution of the videos is really less, so the quality of the video doesn't really look good. So these are the two issues you can face whenever you do these type of generations. So how do you solve this issue? So first of all, let's tackle the issue of the video quality not being good, like the one that we got with Clipfly. How can we use a free AI tool to upscale the video? Let's see that. So again, most of the free AI tools when it comes to upscaling of video are paid, okay? But I was able to find vmake.ai slash video enhancer. The link will be given in the description, which does allow us to upscale the video for free. So we're going to upload the Clipfly three second video here. So let's do that. And the moment you upload the video, it's all automatically going to start the process and it's just going to upscale this. So let's wait for this. All right, so now it has done its job. And now here's the good part, okay? Usually on the free plan, they don't allow you to download the full video because they only allow you to download a five second preview video. But the good part for us is since the video itself is of three seconds, we actually don't lose out because of this. So we can completely use this for free. So let's download it and let's play this now. And you can see that this looks much better now. So that is one problem that we have been able to solve. Now, the second problem is slightly more challenging where Let's say you get a video where the faces are not looking like the original faces. Well, I found another free AI tool which can allow you to swap the faces in a video. Let's see this too. So you would have got a link to this again in the description, which is swapfaces.ai video face swapper online. This was the only free AI tool that I found which allows you to swap faces in a video and that to multiple faces because there were some free AI tools which allow you to do that, but only for a single face in a video, okay? But this even allows you to change multiple faces. So again, we're going to upload our file here. This time, let's upload the one that was generated with pencil because that's where the faces were not looking very genuine. All right, so we've uploaded the video here. We're going to click on next. It's going to analyze this video. So let's wait for this process to finish. All right, so then it's going to give you this option where it has recognized both the faces and now it's allowing you to add the new images here. So let's add the Ronaldo image here. Let's add the Messi image here. So basically what I did was in that original image, I just cropped it out and made it into two separate images. So you would have found this also in the folder. So you can use this and let's do that here. All right, now we're gonna hit swap. And you can see it's gonna take some time and let's wait for the results here. All right, so we've got our video that just took around 15 to 20 seconds. Let's download it and let's see this. All right, so you can see the new video here. And I think, yeah, now it starts to look much better. But overall, I still feel what we got with Clipfly was much more similar to their original faces. But you can see if we Consider the fact that we just mainly worked with free AI tools. I think this is still a decent result. So I hope that you liked this video. And in case you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along all my 
experiments with different AI photo and video editing tools, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.